Hi guys, thanks for watching Elise Makes a Bunch of Videos. I have not done a use at your own risk specific content video in a while and I wanted to do today's video about bad days and using uh, challenges as motivation for the future. Um, so yeah, it's just been some crazy times with um, quarantine, lockdowns, travel restrictions, and all this stuff. Um, and then I have sort of uncertain future plans as well as work situation. Um, but the work thing is like self chosen in a way because the thing that I'm at now is part time and I could have stayed there but I did not to. Um, but at the end of the day, point of the video one minute later is that um yeah had a crazy bad day woke up late because i didn't have the alarm on for friday because last week we had friday off um so i was late for work and then didn't really give a very good, bring a very good lunch because i had 30 seconds to get ready in the morning normally i pack lunch the day before so would have been able to just grab that if i had done that um, didn't fill the radiator <laughs> the night before, so I didn't have time to do it in the morning. I did do it at work, though, at the end of the day. Um, but anyways, you know, it's just one of those days where, like, everything is crap, and I was just annoyed with everyone. <laughs> at the end of the day, I was like, oh, I should finish the painting that I did yesterday, if you watched that video. But then I was like, oh, I'd finish the can and run out sure, the new can where it is, la la la. Anyways, so I didn't do the painting. I'll do that tomorrow morning. I just need to confirm which and where the other can of paint is because I finished the, with the last one yesterday. Um, so basically I was like, oh, so basically Thursday lease was just total see you next Tuesday. Didn't give a fuck about Friday lease and was like, whenever I finish painting, I'm going to bed and I'm doing other things and watching videos and spending time doing whatever. When I could have been making sure that Friday went well, at the end of the day, I decided to be lazy. So, yeah, I feel like it was a bit of a microcosm of like how the, the sort of balance of working and keeping your everything in order and also like having time off but if you have time off you have to use some of that time to get ready and do the things that you need to do for your life when you're not off so that i guess was my lesson from today and i do actually feel more motivated to do stuff because i had such a like aggro day also, just this whole week of not, like, sleeping very well. Probably because I'm not eating as healthy and not really exercising very much like I should. Um, although my job is, like, some physical work, but it's really not a lot. It's not like the pack house um, or, like, other manual jobs that I've had. So, yeah, I've um, contacted someone about... Maybe getting lessons to learn how to drive a manual car. Might buy one. We'll see what happens with this dairy thing and the current car that I have. Um, it'll pretty much be a miracle if I get any money for that car because, like, the fact that it turns on every day, I'm like, wow, that's good. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe it's one of those, like, old faithful cars, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Terry's... Terry's lemon car that she used to call Old Faithful and everyone else called Lemon. It's like that one. Um, but it just keeps going and it has a similar problem because I have to keep filling the radiator. That's the main pain in the ass. Um, but as long as I do it, it's fine. Like, it's never like massively overheated. It, it just has a hole somewhere in there. A little one and the air comes through and causes me to need to remember to do stuff all the time. And you can't do it right away, you have to wait till it's not hot, which is like... Anyways, um, yeah, that's my video for today, hope you enjoyed it. I will have a link to my 
other use it your own risk videos I might get back into doing eight questions again because I feel like maybe that'll be a mental forcing myself to be more positive just like now I'm doing runs on Mondays again with my running group so now I'm like actually exercising on purpose outside of work <laughs> which hasn't so much been a thing in 2020 so far like once or twice but let's be honest not really not really at all a few walks here and there but nothing like yeah mm, yep so I got the um gonna need to buy a new wardrobe soon if I go down this path scenario so I'm gonna try to like verge back to what I was on to with the healthy um life again uh, yeah, so that'll be interesting next week. We leave and carry Harry and do all that stuff. Whole new beginning. But then I might come back again. Who knows? It's all up in the air. The point is, things that are annoying happen. And then they remind you to be grateful for things when they're not annoying. Things that stop being annoying or were never annoying in the first place are like magical all of a sudden because you had to deal with annoying things all day and you're like, oh, days when those things don't happen are good. Maybe, maybe I'll have one of those. And then when you do, you're like, oh, that was much better than the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my message. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. So mature. Um, thanks again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.